What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how to make holographic interactive experiences using the Looking Glass Factory Portrait and Xbox controller and Unreal Engine. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So before we get started, if you're new to Looking Glass Factory, you wanna make sure that you go to the website because there's a few things that we need to download and install. So right here, I'm at lookingglassfactory.com. If I come over here to software, and then if I scroll down, there's a few things that we're gonna need for Unreal Engine. So if I scroll all the way down here, you can see that we have the Unreal Engine Hollow Play plugin. So if I click down, you can see that it's now supported with 4.27, which I'm gonna show here. But if you're still using 4.26, you can use that as well. You wanna make sure that you download the Hollow Play service. You're gonna to need to install that. But if you bought the Looking Glass, you probably already have this stuff installed. And then you're just gonna to have to sign in with your Looking Glass account to download the Unreal Engine plugin. And once you download the Unreal Engine plugin, you'll see right now, currently it's on version 1.2. You're gonna have a zip file, and then all you have to do is unzip it and open it up. And then you can see that we have the two different versions here for 4.26 and 4.27. So we don't wanna bring this into our Unreal Engine plugin folder yet. What we wanna do is we wanna create a project and then we're gonna bring it into there. So let me get Unreal Engine started up here. And then I'm gonna use 4.27. So I'm just gonna click on this to launch a brand new project. Okay, so now we have the Unreal Project Browser open. What I'm actually gonna do now is come down here to games because I wanna show you guys how to make an interactive experience. And so I'm gonna click on next here. Then I'm gonna come over to third person and I'm just gonna click next. And then I'm just gonna make a folder here on my desktop. So I'm gonna go to my desktop here, select for my project folder. I'm just gonna put LGF for Looking Glass Factory. I'm not gonna touch anything else. I'm just gonna create the project here and give us a few moments to load up here. Okay, so now we're in Unreal Engine version 4.27. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna come over to my Windows Explorer where I have my plugins downloaded. And then I'm also going to minimize Unreal Engine so that I can find my desktop here. And I have my Unreal Engine project right here, the OGF. So I'm just gonna open this up, slide this over. And if you don't have a plugins folder in here, all you have to do is right click, come down here to new and then make a folder. And we're just gonna name it plugins, so capital P, and then everything else lowercase. So you wanna make a folder for plugins if it's not here already. And then you double click on that. And then I'm gonna be using version 4.27. So I'm gonna click on this right here. And I'm actually gonna hold down the left control on my keyboard, just click and drag it into my plugins folder. You can also just copy and paste it if you want, but I like using the shortcut for the keyboard and everything should be good. So again, just to go back over that, I have my Unreal Engine project folder right here. And all I did was make a plugins folder. And then once it's out my plugins folder, I brought over the Hollow Play 4.27 plugin and just click and dragged it into my plugins here and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna close all my folders down and I'm gonna open back up Unreal Engine. Then I'm gonna hit dismiss down here for new plugins available. In the Looking Glass plugin, it should be up here at the top, but since we installed it without resetting Unreal Engine, I'm actually just gonna close this down real quick, open back up my Unreal Engine folder, just double click on this right here, and it should open up our project file. So here we are, we're back inside of Unreal again. I'm gonna dismiss new plugins, update the project file, and then you see we have an error right here. If I click on it, we actually now have a button for Hollow Play. So to be able to use this with Unreal Engine for the interactive experience, it's real easy to set up. First, what I'm gonna do is click on my character down here. And over here on the right-hand side under my world outliner, you see that I have the third person character selected. What I'm gonna do now is with this selected, I'm gonna come right here where it says edit blueprint. I'm gonna left click on this and then open blueprint editor. And that brings up our editor window here. I'm gonna make this full screen actually. And right here where it says viewport, I'm going to left click on this. And now we're inside of our viewport. We see our character here. We see our camera here. And on the left hand side, let me drag this out a little bit. You see we have our, in a hierarchy window, it says camera boom. I'm going to click on this. And then right here where it says add component, I'm going to left click on this. And I'm actually going to search for child. So just C-H-I-L-D. And I'm going to put in a child actor in here. And so you wanna make sure that this child actor is a part of the character boom. So if I close this up, you won't see it anymore. So you just wanna make sure that you have it selected in there. And so I'm gonna select my child actor now. And on the right hand side under child actor component, where it says child actor class and it says none, I'm gonna left click right here. 
and I'm actually going to do a search for a hollow. And now you see it says hollow play capture. I'm just going to left click on this. And now you see that we have our bounding box right here. So this blue bounding box is basically our looking glass portrait. And so anything that's inside this bounding box is going to show up inside of our holographic display. So we just want to adjust this over a little bit. So right here under location, I found about 290 is a good spot to be in. So you see it totally engulfs our character right here. And then if I come down here where it says child actor template, I'm going to left click this and bring it down to capture settings. I'm going to left click this and right here where it says size, you want to go to about 70 because you just want to really encapsulate it. But I mean, you could pick any size you want, but I want to get really close to our character here. So size is 70 is good. And then for our field of view, somewhere around 20 should be pretty cool there. So somewhere around there should be good. So basically, that's all we're going to have to do inside of here. No crazy blueprinting or anything. We just have to come up here in the top left where it says Kapow. I'm actually going to left click that. And then you should see like a green check mark. And then I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to exit this out. And now, basically, all we have to do is connect our Xbox controller, hit play, and we should be good to go. And you can also use a keyboard and a mouse if you want to. But I'm going to use my Xbox controller. So I'm actually just going to plug it in. I don't have Bluetooth set up on this one right now. So now I have my Xbox controller is glowing. That means I can control my character. And if I come over here where it says expand toolbar, I'm going to click on hollow play. And it should show up inside of our looking glass factory portrait. And then if I click play here and then I select my viewport. Now it's running around inside of my looking glass portrait. But let me get my camera set up to show my looking glass portrait. And you guys can see everything running in real time. So right now you're seeing everything hooked up. I have my Xbox controller running Unreal Engine with the looking glass portrait. And so let me give you a demonstration of everything running in real time through your holographic portrait. So as you can see right now, I pushed in on my holographic display a little bit so you can see it better, but I'm still controlling it with my Xbox controller. You can use keyboard and mouse if you want to as well, but this is how easy it is to set up a third person experience inside your holographic display using Unreal Engine. So how cool is that? I'm using my Xbox controller with my Looking Glass Factory portrait running in real time in Unreal Engine to make a fully interactive experience inside the hologram. And don't worry, a lot more Looking Glass Factory tutorials are going to be coming to the channel. I'm going to show you how we could do cinematic stuff in there, use Cinema 4D. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you make sure you don't miss out on any tutorials that I'm going to do here in the future. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Maybe there's something that you want to see inside the Looking Glass Factory. I'll be happy to do so. And and make sure you leave me a big thumbs up helps out the algorithm and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care thank you very much what up what up Wimbush here